Hello and welcome to The Laws of Minecraft with Law from Chaos. That's me. Anyway, this is a building guide that I'm doing. I'm actually constructing a very large and long building. And the reason I'm doing this is my old house, which you can't see through all this lovely snow, has is a very large building, but the problem is that most of the activity in it for ME systems, everything else, manufacturing, all occurs within just nine chunks. It's a three by three chunk section. And so what happens is, is that it starts getting laggy there because those chunks are using a lot of energy for the server. And so it's actually better sometimes to use more chunks and just kind of spread things out. And so that's actually what I'm doing here. So I'm actually going to have it so that it's three chunks wide approximately. I'm actually leaving one block off on one side so that it will be an odd number for my building purposes because that means I can have center items and so on. And what's going to be very long here, but the, because of my previous one, it's loading those nine chunks in the center, but it's actually loading quite a few more than that in order to ensure that all the processes are working. And so when I, by the time I'm done with this, even though it's very long, It'll only be loading a few more chunks than my other base, which is just kind of this big central building. And so this one is just going to be in a line form instead with my chunk loaders. And so just I wanted to cover a few basics because you never know what people know. And so I'm going to do a very quick filler tutorial just to start with. And I'm going to do that because if you look at these edges here, and if you press F9, by the way, you can see, and you can cycle through different ways to see chunks. So these red lines are the corners of chunks. And so this on this side here, I'm going to leave one side, one block off. So this one won't be covered. But these three blocks I want to take off. And so what I'm going to do is use a filler, which is a basic machine. Looks like this right here. It's from the Buildcraft machines. And so it's in most of the major mod packs. And I'm going to just get that started. So you use landmarks. You only need actually four. I've got eight here just in case. And so I'll show you how that works. So here I am. I'm going to go over my three, all right? Ta da! And then I'm actually going to clear out a little bit behind it as well because I am going to want to put my machine here. Okay, so first place down a landmark. And then what you want to do is put a redstone torch next to it. You can use other things, redstone blocks, levers, that kind of thing. Just a redstone signal will cause it to do this. And what it's doing is it'll, including the central block here, it'll go out for 64 blocks. So essentially four chunks worth. And you can use that as a guide for where everything is going to go. And so I probably don't need to go up quite this high, but I am going to anyway. And so I'm going to use an angel block, because angel blocks are very convenient for building, because they can be placed anywhere, including midair. See, as you see, I just click, and there it is. And so I'm just going to put my landmark on it, and I want my landmark to go right into that blue line. If it's outside the blue line, it's not going to work, it, either if it's too far simply too far that it's so that it's uh, outside that 64 range or just not lining up, then it's not going to work. And so I am just going to take this, and I, I, this is actually a great item called an Aquarium Pickaxe. Uh, it's awakened, so it does, I can do line mode with it, so I can actually just kind of run along like this. Unfortunately, I don't have a shell version yet. I haven't made one. And so I'm just going to take it until I get to the end of the line because this, like I said, it's a very long structure, so I want to go as far this direction as possible. And then I'm just going to line it up at the very end of it. See, there it goes. All right, so that should be all the directions. And once I've done that, oh, actually, I did forget one. Let's do this one over here. Because <laughs> if I don't do this one properly, it's not going to work. Okay, so this one I wanted to take this additional four blocks all the way to the end of the chunk. Just completely chunk load. Um, so that way my full chunk load, I might have architectural details outside of that, but since they're not machines, I don't really need them to be loaded all the time. 
and so I may end up expanding this slightly later, but as long as all the central stuff is here... Oh, lovely. Creeper. Barely touches me now. <laughs> For which I am glad. Okay, so I need to do the same thing I was just doing with an angel block. So I need to align it up right here, and I go like that, and there it is. And, see, look, it lined up beautifully there, and I can put my last landmark right there. Yeah, one way to do this is if you have a set number of landmarks and you still happen to have one, <laughs> uh, like if you start with four and you still have one, you know you haven't placed them all. Okay, and then when you come and right-click on the landmark here, as you see, creates a red box. It'd be easier to see without the chunk marks, so I'm actually going to get those turned off. See, there we are. So that box is what the filler machine is going to clear away. Okay, and... Now that I've got that all labeled, I can remove the redstone torch and put the filler there. And as soon as I put the filler there, it's actually going to remove all the landmarks. And you get this lovely outline. It's kind of like a caution symbol, uh, you know, building. Uh, and you could go collect all the landmarks. Uh, normally I would, as a matter of fact, but since I am doing this guide, I want to be as fast as possible, and I'm not going to do that. Okay, so the filler needs to be configured first. Uh, it has a fill mode. I'm not sure if this works. If it does, I'll be showing you that later, because that's excellent if it does. But the last time I checked, it was broken. But admittedly, that was some time ago. But you can cycle through modes by pressing on the arrows. So if you click on the left arrow, it goes to clear, which is exactly what we want, because we want to just clear this entire area. And then it's going to need power. So in this case, I'm using a Tesseract. Now, Tesseracts are lovely, and what they do is they take energy being produced, as well as items or fluids, from one location to another. And so in this case, what I'd be doing is sending receive, and if it's receiving energy, it's pushing energy out of it, essentially. And so I have lovely energy coming from my main power source, and this is all private, elsewhere. And then I can just put this down, and it will begin... Not sure where... Oh, the highest point's up here, so it should start clearing up here. Yep, and there it is. And now, the filler acts like a quarry in many ways, except that it will not remove liquids. But as it's clearing this away, the blocks are here, but it just leaves the blocks on the ground. And the nice thing about the filler is it'll actually just discard them. And so they'll just all go away. It's actually designed that way for one thing, so it's not just a really replaced... <laughs> really cheap replacement for a quarry, which it could be. And actually, with this magnet glove, I actually could make it essentially that, because if I shift right-click on this, it turns red, and it draws all the items around to me. And But I don't want to do that, because I already have enough crap in my inventory. And I've got way too much stuff in my ME system, other than the marble, which I'm probably going to want to actually make my main building out of, which I don't have enough of yet. Yeah, so. At some point while I'm off-screen, I'll probably finagle with everybody else who's on and see what I can do about uh, buying all their marble. <laughs> I'm going to need lots of it. Uh, many, 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 many thousands. Probably uh, somewhere in the nature of uh, um, 20 to 30,000 marble for this project. I have maybe 3,000. <laughs> I have so much everything else, though. Ah, oh, well. If I can't start with marble, I'll start with something else. Yes, this is marble right here. It's very pretty. I think I'll collect what it's dropping. Eh, too late. Oh, well. <laughs> yes, you can see large holes in the structure here where I've already just kind of carved out all the marble that was available. It's lovely, lovely. Uh, yeah, actually, I can take this bit right here if I want. I'll make this into square mode and just remove a whole nice little section. Very nice. Yeah, something to do while your things are quarrying away. Yes, I know it's not a quarry. <laughs> but fillering or doesn't yeah, doesn't make nearly as much of a good word. So I won't. But yeah, see this is a fairly large amount of blocks. I mean if I was doing this by hand, this would take a while. But you can see how quickly it's moving everything down. And I actually did this entire central section. Massive thing. And it took me... Eh, didn't take that long. I mean, it wasn't really, really fast, but it wasn't that long either. So I cannot complain. Yes, and the 
one thing I do is if I see resources that I do particularly want, while it's the filler is engaged, a lot of time I'll just go and take my trusty pickaxe or shovel, depending on what it is, and take it up and just pick it up if there's anything I'm particularly lacking. Unfortunately, the only thing I'm lacking now is marble, and it's my primary building material. <laughs> I may end up building out with something else. We'll see. It's one of those things of just... For sheer practicality, I may have to. But, as you can see, it's coming along nicely. Oh, so beautifully coming along. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I actually have quite a bit more. So after this is finished, I'll just show you. You can see right now, it is a lovely green on top of the filler there. That means that it's working. But sometimes it'll be green before it's even started and mean that it's just sitting there. So do keep an eye on it. But after it's finished, it will actually turn red. So I'll show you that in a minute when it is finished. Because it will be done with this fairly large section pretty shortly. As you can see, we're almost at the end. And we started up there. Yeah, that's not a small piece of land to take out. So we are glad that it does it so quickly. In some ways, I'd actually prefer to do the Quarry Plus for this because it can go way further. But the band in the overworld here, so hey, whatever. And I understand why, because they can make huge messes. Marble. And it is almost done. It's finishing up this last section here. And it should be done. And it looks like it exposed a beehive. How lovely. Alright, so that is the conclusion of my first video. And I'm actually just going to go ahead and do all the rest off camera because it's just a repeat of what I just did. <laughs> so no point in you watching it again. And this is Law from Chaos signing off. I'll see you guys later.